Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add hyperlinks to a table visual in Power BI. So let's get started. I'm going to teach you three different ways of adding hyperlink. Number one, I'm going to teach you how you can simply create this as a hyperlink and when you click on this link, it will open the link that is provided. Number two is uh, I'm going to change the entire URL here to just an icon. So just an icon is appearing there and you click on that icon, the website opens or the link opens. And the third way is that you have a hyperlink the way you added in the Excel. So you simply click on, let's say baby food and that particular link opens. So let's get started with the first one over here. So I'm going to click on this particular uh, column here, which has the link in my case. So make sure that it has the HTTPS details and then go to the column tools and make sure you have selected this as data category as uncategorized. So once this is selected as uncategorized, we will go into the format tab and under conditional formatting, make sure that you have selected the column where you want to add the hyperlink. In case you have multiple columns, you'll have multiple columns appearing here. In this case, we only have one column. So I'm going to select item type here. Make sure that you select the column where you want the hyperlink and then turn on web URL. And in this section over here, select the field which has the link and then click on OK. So the moment you do that, you will see that this has created an underline here. And when you click on this, the URL opens. All right. So likewise, when I click on cosmetics, the cosmetic image opens. All right. Now, this is one of the way of adding the uh, hyperlink. Now, the other way of adding adding a hyperlink is you need to click on this link over here and change the data category here to web URL. So the moment you do that, you will see that this has now been converted to a URL and you can simply click on this and you will see the images are now have started opening. All right, so this is the second way of adding, but in case you don't need the entire URL to appear here like it is appearing right now, so what you can simply do is you need to go to the values and under the values option, turn on URL icon. So when you turn this on, you will only see the link over here. And when you see, you can simply click, click on this and open the, you follow the hyperlink and uh, go to the website or you can also open a new email in the Outlook if you have provided the email ID. So that's about it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.